Uh, now today we have four programs uh, and a Lifetime Achievement Award winner that the committee felt rec uh, epitomized really the kind of risk-taking uh, and innovative thinking that has led to uh, new or groundbreaking programs that are worth recognizing. Uh, the programs that we're honoring today uh, are groups of people that have done lots of different things. Um, just to give you an example, finding ways to improve the reliability of forensic science, um, providing live streaming for court hearings and implementing technology software for the court system during the pandemic, developing a compassionate release program for seriously ill Wisconsin prisoners, uh, inmates who pose no risk to society so that they can die at home, and then uh, developing a telephone hotline, <clears throat> excuse me, a telephone hotline for victims of domestic abuse, and also uh, creating a pandemic response initiative for vulnerable populations uh, in Wisconsin. So that's what you're gonna hear about today. And we thought as a committee, this was just terrific work. In one way or another, really these innovators uh, and their, their work have led to better client services. And there are lots of disruptors to the traditional delivery of legal services, especially now uh, and since March, we, we've all seen it. Um, our profession had to be prepared to deal with not only the pandemic, uh, but deal with all these changes that continue to take place and will continue to take place as we move into the future, even after the pandemic has passed. And, and we as a legal profession need to treat them as opportunities. And these innovators that you will meet today are doing just that. And that's why it's, it's so gratifying for me and the committee to be able to uh, highlight them and recognize them and let them tell you about what they do.